What's up, guys? It's your girl, Alexandria Ikamoni in the studio, iHeartRadio, with the cast of Tempted to Love. We have Garcelle Beauvais. How are you doing, girl? I'm great. Yes, so happy to have you in studio. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Yes, lots to talk about, so we're going to get to it, but I got to say hi to Von Hebron. How are we doing over there? I am great, great. Happy to be here. Yes, love the smile. You have a great smile, by the way. You're Thank giving you. a lot of energy in the studio, so we're appreciating that, too. I appreciate y'all. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then also, the one and only Miss Donna Busco, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am happy to have you. I mean, Thank you look amazing, you. by the way. Fiery, you. too. Thank I'm really yeah. loving yeah. this. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, absolutely. We're talking about love, yes. talking about fiery. Yes. We got a new movie coming out, Lifetime, yes. by the way. Yeah, tempted is to love. love. Tempted by love. Tempted by love. love. You know, you want to do tempted love. We got to be by love yeah, over tempted here. Tempted mm -hmm. by love. Okay, I yes. love it. You guys, tell me more about this movie and what can people expect? Oh, my God. People can expect romance. My character Ava is a Michelin chef and she comes back to town to take care of her aunt played by Donna mm -hmm. and uh, she unexpectedly meets this young man and uh, life changes from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we gotta tell me more. How does life change when you're dealing with that member that your character said, you know, age is nothing but a number. So how does life change in this movie? Well, it changed <laughs> in the sense of, you know, Ava's not looking for love. She's mm -hmm. certainly not looking for love with a younger man. Mm -hmm. And so meeting the Luke character really just changed things up for her you know she yeah. wasn't expecting it she didn't wasn't sure she wanted it but i think sometimes you can't resist what's there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so the chemistry's there the connection is there mm -hmm. um aunt judy is really pushing, pushing for it, it. Too. Yes. and uh yeah so they fall in love i love it so let's talk about this movie as well vaughn donna whoever wants to answer this one tell me more about what it's like working with this cast and the chemistry that went on to really make the movie the best it can be you know this was a wonderful cast I mean from day one the mm -hmm. chemistry was just everything you see on screen is real mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can feel the appreciation we all have for one another mm -hmm. And we just clicked. Yes. We just did. Yeah. And, yeah. And we're all rooting for each other, too. Right. Yeah. Right. Which is really nice. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, you do scenes with people, and it's like they're there for your, they're close up, but they're not there for yours. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Um, it wasn't the case here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, yeah. It, it was really like a family dynamic. Yeah. We all felt like we just had a comfortability and knowing of one another that really just sparked and came through on the screen. Yeah. 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 Lots of fun. Lots yeah. of fun. And we see the fun. I was able to, you know, get a tease of the movie. So I know people are going to really enjoy this one. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. good. Yes, it is. So let's talk about it, Garcelle, for a second, because you also EP'd this movie. I did. Tell me more about why you decided to take on this particular project on camera and off camera and, you know, how that really came to be. Yeah, you know, I wanted to do something different with Lifetime. They're mm -hmm. known for their thrillers and their killers. Right. And we wanted to really switch it up. So Karen, one of the executives, uh, and I had lunch and we were talking about what do we do next? And then we came up with the idea of doing romance. Mm. And so then who else does, you know, romance really well? Terry McMillan. And we collaborated with um, Tamara Gregory, who wrote the script along with Terry. And um, it was just, it made sense. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's a summer romance. It's different for Lifetime. And we just really wanted to put something out that you can watch with your friends, with your mm -hmm. guy, with anybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a really great movie as well. So anybody mm -hmm. else want to chime into that, you know, as well? Um, I'll say that, like, when I first got the script, one of the things that really jumped out at me was the authenticity of the conversations and the mm -hmm. dialogue. And um, like Garcelle said, I think anybody can watch this, mm -hmm. especially people who are looking for love, who are already in love, or who are in the later stages of love to kind of get that rekindling and um, fire burning again too with some interesting dialogue and some hot scenes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Tempted over here. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you'll notice within the movie, all the women in the film are seasoned. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is um, is something I had a great appreciation for because you don't see love no. stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm on screen about women mature women right yeah. and it's it's done in a way that we cover as all aspects of being just that yeah mm -hmm. and they did not shy away from it it's funny to hear about it and how you deal with it mm -hmm. 
and uh, it worked really well with yeah. the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have some amazing other cast members. We have Loretta Devine. We yes. have Leela Vachon, mm-hmm. and it just it just gelled. You know, like yeah. when you have something good and it works. That's what happened on set. Yeah. I love it. And I can tell from your eyes and what you're saying and what you're not saying that there is some temptation going on here. I want a little spoiler. Can oh, somebody honey, give me hot. one little spoiler? <laughs> there's hot. a lot of, there's a beautiful love scene, mm-hmm. sexy, mm-hmm. sensuous. Between who? Compa- well, yeah. not between me and Aunt Judy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how we mix it up in this movie. Who knows? <laughs> uh, Ava and Luke definitely uh-huh. have a lot of chemistry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love to see it. Now, from each one of your characters that you guys are playing, what is your favorite part about your character? Mm. I need to know. That's a great mm. question. What yeah. I love about my character is that she's a Michelin chef. Mm-hmm. And I've never played anything like that. And I, mm. I think it's just elevating. And it's, you know, it's great to see a character that's doing, you know, something different yeah my character she's no nonsense i Mm -hmm. love that about her she always (laughs) told ava what she thought uh she steals clothes from her (laughs) you know so she's that aunt that everybody wants i love love she's a fun one yeah Yeah, Yeah, for sure (laughs) cracks you up all the time Mm -hmm. yeah come on von i need something from you um i think the thing that I really love about Luke is that he is authentically himself. Mm-hmm. You know, like the man he presents himself to be, that's who he is. He has a naivety about him that's kind of like um, infectious. Yeah. You know, it's like, wow, you really don't know any better, but I also want to help you be better too. And it's, he just presents himself in a way that's just really true and um, genuine. Yeah. Yeah. He's a lover that. man. Yes, yes he he's is. A lover he's a very boy. sweet guy from what I've seen yeah, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, was he in has movie. some lines yeah, in there. The ladies yes. in there. Are they going to be like, oh, yeah. 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 Am I had tempted or what? We had a premiere in LA. People were talking out loud. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was really fun. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah, I love yeah. it. And I do want to talk to Vaughn for a quick second. What's I mean, up? you've been in some great movies and great productions from the Game Reboot, King Richards, Tyler Perry's The Oval. Why did you decide to take this one? Oh, this one. Um, well, this was a true romance um, that I believe that I really haven't had a chance to explore yet mm-hmm. um, in my professional career. So I really want to show that side of my acting abilities and also just firstly hopping on on board with everybody that was involved. Um, Garcelle, again, Tamara, Terry, uh, Karen at Lifetime who produced it, Donna, Miss Loretta, mm-hmm. Leela. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just surrounded by powerhouses. Mm-hmm. Um, so not only was it a chance to show a different side of me, but also a chance to work with some great talent, some iconic talent. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a real blessing. I love it. And you're touching on this just a little bit. So what would you say uh, is different about this role, specifically for those who don't know, than your previous roles? I think this role shows... Uh, just a side of me that people haven't seen yet. Like mm-hmm. there's a there's a, a a fun a fun loving mm-hmm. uh, almost boyish type of side to him. Yeah. But he's still a grown man. Mm-hmm. You know, he represents himself very well. But I think the thing that he does for Ava is show. You know, she's used to people who are so polished and so. Uh, they present themselves as their ambassadors and this is a genuineness about this guy that mm-hmm. she I don't think she's used to. Mm. So I was very happy to bring that because yeah. it was really just who I am. I yeah, and he's it. really great in the movie. Yes, yeah. yes he is. I can't wait Thanks. for everyone else to see it as well. So that's really exciting. Now Ms. Donna, I mean your credits speak for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary stuff here. So how do you feel like your ca- character in this particular movie challenged you as an actress? You know, I'm so used to playing roles that are more serious. Yeah. Or evil. <laughs> <laughs> but she's so funny. But I wanted to, yeah. yeah, because it was totally opposite mm-hmm. from everything I had ever played before. Yeah. So when I saw it and I read it, and it was about seasoned women, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, let's, let's see, let's play with this yeah. and see. You know, and I got the chance to be lighthearted and funny and you know mm-hmm. without trying to right. be funny because <laughs> yeah. it was just it was in the writing yeah. it was just all there right. and uh it was just really different from stuff that i normally play yeah, yeah. which is exciting for people yeah. to really see the side of you so i'm really excited yeah about that. i'm excited yeah. about that yeah, yeah we're lucky <laughs> yes. to have her oh right. for sure now garcelle of course you have a resume as well for yourself <laughs> here but tell me more because you are busy doing a bunch of other things filming mm-hmm. other projects mm-hmm. so 
how do you feel like, you know, in this point in your career, like this was the best option for you or did it challenge you as well? Or what's the case there? No, you know what? really drew me to all of it is Lifetime. You mm-hmm. know, I did the Black Girl Missing franchise and that did really well, so yes. they wanted to do more. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, an, again, like he said, it was a chance to play something that I hadn't played in a long time. I do get a lot of roles where I'm strong and powerful and this mm-hmm. was really great about showing vulnerability and talking about things that normally we wouldn't talk about. Yeah. So I was on board and then all the other people, all the other women that are involved, yeah. you know, it just made it that much better and being able as an executive producer to hire the people that, you know, were working with us on set. It was great. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. And you're talking about you've worked with Lifetime in the past and this yes. is not the last project from my understanding that you're doing with no, them. Is that I correct? No, it's not the last yes. project. <laughs> okay, so tell me more about what's to come with your partnership with Lifetime. Yeah, we have another Black Girl Missing uh, coming out. We're working on the script right now mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully other things. I love it. Okay, yeah. can't wait to see it. By the way, tell the people when this particular movie all airs. This Saturday, August, August 17th. 17th. I yep. love it. I 8 love p.m. on Lifetime. More lifetime. I yes. lifetime. love it. I love it. Okay, so we have to ask. I mean, the fans will not be okay if I didn't at least get some real housewives of Beverly Hills questions in there. <laughs> I can slide it in really quick. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay, you guys just wrapped up filming, right? Yeah, so, season 14. Yes. The word that was used to describe this season was explosive. Yes. Tell me more. <laughs> Why do you think so? I'm going to let you speak before uh, I ask my questions. Because there are moments that I had never seen before yeah. and I've never seen the women react in, in that way. Mm-hmm. So, Um, The dynamics shift a lot, you know, some friendships are shifted and some people you thought they would be friends forever or not. Mm -hmm. So it was really, um, and we have new people. Yeah. We have a new housewife, another black woman, which Mm -hmm. is really cool. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of good moments. I think everybody's going to be happy with this season. You get everything you want from Beverly Hills. I love it. And you're talking about the new housewife coming in, another black woman. And as the first black woman to be on that franchise for Beverly Hills, what's the dynamic like? Are we friends? Oh, God, no. We're going to be friends. Are you kidding? Okay, just want to make sure I understand where we are like you know because i don't want like don't come from my space now (laughs) i own beverly hills okay good to know good (laughs) to know i love it i love to see you guys win so what is the dynamic between you two as far as what people will see um what people will see is i mean really getting to know her we're all really getting to to know her yeah um she's amazing she's dynamic she has an incredible resume Mm -hmm. in terms of being in marketing yeah she's worked for netflix and i mean all the all the big you know um camp why am I can't can't talk? She's worked for all the big, you know, people that you would think right, um, right. she has. And so she's great. So mm-hmm. we're getting to know her and she's fitting in right in. That's yeah, good. She's good. All right. Can I ask about Miss Dorit? What is happening there? <laughs> I mean, I'll just leave it at that. Like what's what's We're working on our friendship. Okay. Yeah, we're working on our friendship. Last season really came to a head and yeah. I had to straighten her out mm-hmm. about black women. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're working on it. Do you feel like she understood what you were trying to convey to then her? Then or now? Now. Mm. She's learning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slow learner is what yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, some progress. We'll take any kind of progress we'll take at progress. this point. We'll take progress. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, now specifically you and yes. your life there. Okay. What will people see from you that they haven't seen in the past? Or is it just really building on, you know, what um, they've already It's building known? on what I've been able to do with yeah. the show and who I am and, you know, my children. Although Jax is not on the show this season. Mm-hmm. Um, and I respect that. He's been through a lot because of the show. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my son Jade is starting to model, so we're gonna see that yeah. and uh building on the same. Okay. Yeah. We love to see you. We love to see really just the progress. And I'm assuming we're all gonna have a good time, a good peaceful time this season, or once again explosive and it's just gonna go left it's right. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's gonna be good. <laughs> okay. Favorite yeah. moment from the season that people are going to see though. What would that be? Favorite moment. We Mm -hmm. have an amazing finale in St. Lucia. That's all I can say. Oh, all right. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. But for everybody else, you guys are not just working on this particular movie. So tell me more about what you guys have going on that's to come this year. Oh, I, I'm having a really busy Yay! month. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I get the rest. You might want to just take some time for yourself, too. Yeah, yeah. I have a recurring role on The Reasonable Doubt. Mm-hmm. I'm also in the Supremes mm-hmm. at Earl's All You Can Eat Cafe. Love it. And I just learned a movie I was in, Freedom Hair, mm-hmm. is coming out yes. uh, at the end of the month. I love it. Congratulations. So, yes. Yeah. Where yeah. can people catch that one? <clears throat> 
Uh, it's going to be in theaters. Okay. Actually, mm-hmm. uh, I think it starts August 30th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really back exciting. to back. Yes. Back to back. It's a winter circle right there. Yeah. And you have a lot going on as well from the different shows you've been on. So tell me more about what else is to come. Or are we just going to focus on this, get through this movie, and then worry about the rest? Uh, well, you know, I mean, after Saturday at 8, mm-hmm. the movie is out there. Our mm-hmm. baby is out there. So yeah. we'll do with it what it will. Um, we always I'm, looking for work. Exactly. <laughs> we always looking for work. I'm also <laughs> on busy. Reasonable Doubt. Yes. Uh, season 2 recurring on there. Mm-hmm. So that's dropping August 22nd. Mm-hmm. And then I also have um, some work on the show SWAT. Oh, ooh, Coming I love SWAT. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. really exciting. Yes, that's man. a great one. We only have a few more months left in this year. Anything, Can you believe that? Isn't yeah. that insane? Yeah. About to be 2025. I'm not ready. I will be honest. Yeah. I'm not ready for 2025, <laughs> yeah. but, yeah. you know, it's coming anyway. Right. right. What is one thing that we want to accomplish before the year ends? Mm. Oh, Ooh, mm. I would like to get a little bit of rest. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's and what that's I'd fair. like. I'm mm-hmm. about to say the same. Oh, I want to wow. bomb... <laughs> a really nice, a really yes, nice vacation. <laughs> a really nice vacation. Yes. You can go yeah. there. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Donna? I want to get some things done. I just started this little production company. Mm-hmm. Oh. So we yes. have, uh, we're working on some projects and I want to get dig my feet in and mm. get that going. And I want to yeah. dig my feet into more. I mean, you're going to tell me any more details about this? The name oh, or no, what it's project? just stuff okay. that we're working on, mm-hmm. productions, that writing stuff. Okay. So, yeah, I'm okay. just, that's my new journey. I love it. <laughs> right. love it. We just got to stay it. tuned so we get yeah. those updates for sure is what yeah. it sounds like. Yes. I love to see it. Well, any last words you want to leave with the people, guys? Tempted by Love, love. this Saturday. This 8 Saturday. PM. Check it out. Watch, yeah. You watch, will love you it. You will love it. it. Yes. I am very I will say I'm very happy that people that have watched it so far, they have loved it. I right. yes. The response has been great. It so has. I'm really happy that people are receiving it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. I can't wait for everyone to see it. And of course, since it's on Lifetime, you can always rewatch it at some point, which yes. makes it a plus. So exactly. I'm really excited for everyone to get a chance to really take yeah. a look at this movie. Mm-hmm. All right, well, Garcelle, Von, Donna, thank you guys so much for thank coming you into the studio. Thank you so much for having us. Happy to have you guys. Once again, Alexandra Camoni, iHeartRadio.